in this video we are going to discuss about the carotid artery external carotid artery and the branches of external carotid artery so for that uh, we will be drawing the diagrams uh, this is the manubrium sterni and this is the sternum and this is the left sternoclavicular joint this is the right sternoclavicular joint and this is the arch of aorta passing posterior to the sternum now on the right side you are uh, having a branch arising from the arch of aorta which is the right brachiocephalic trunk and the right brachiocephalic trunk divides into the right subclavian and the right common carotid right common carotid passes posterior to the right sternoclavicular joint and it ascends upwards in the neck so this is the right brachiocephalic trunk brachiocephalic trunk which is arising from the arch of aorta so we see that right common carotid is a branch of right brachiocephalic trunk it is arising from the right brachiocephalic trunk on the left side from the arch of aorta there is a left common carotid artery arising as a direct branch of arch of aorta it arises just to the left of midpoint of the manubrium sternum and it ascends upwards and passes posterior to the left sternoclavicular joint and further it ascends upwards in the neck so the further course of both the carotid that is right and left carotid is the same now what happens in the neck so in the neck you have draw the neck here the clavicle this is the hyoid bone you have the anterior belly of digastric which is arising here and this is the posterior belly of digastric And you are having the sternocleidomastoid muscle here. And there is the superior belly of homohyoid and the inferior belly of homohyoid. So which are muscles? The muscles are, this one is the sternocleidomastoid. And this one is the posterior belly of digastric. And this one is the superior belly of homophile. So uh, these three muscles are forming a triangle here. This triangle is known as the carotid triangle. So what happens to our common carotid artery? So the common carotid artery which is passing underneath the sternoclavicular joint now it passes upwards. It is ascending upwards under the cover of anterior border of sternocleidomastoid. So it ascends upwards along the anterior underneath the anterior it passes under the cover of anterior border of sternocleidomastoid then on it reaches the um, carotid triangle so on reaching the carotid triangle at the upper border of the thyroid cartilage it divides into two terminal branches so the two terminal branches are so this is the common carotid this is the common carotid passing in the carotid triangle And the two terminal branches of the common carotid, the two branches of the common carotid, one which is present anteromedially is known as the external carotid. 
and one which is present posterior laterally is known as the internal carotid. So the carotid artery, common carotid passes through the carotid triangle and at the level of upper border of thyroid cartilage, it divides into the external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery. Now uh, in the carotid triangle, the carotid artery is enclosed in a sheath along with the vagus nerve and the internal jugular vein. That sheath is known as the carotid sheath. So now what structures form the relations of the external carotid artery. Now we will be discussing in detail about the external carotid artery. So this is the left side we are discussing about. So this is the external carotid and this is the internal carotid. And here you have the vagus nerve, and uh, there is internal jugular vein here. And this much part is lying in the carotid triangle. So, this much part is in the carotid triangle. Now we will be discussing the relations of the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle. So first of all in the carotid triangle which are structures from the relation. So the artery is closed superficially. So this is the external carotid. This is the external carotid. And this is the internal carotid. This is the vagus nerve. This is the internal jugular vein. Now what happens? So it is closed superficially by a nerve which is known as the hypoglossal nerve. So the hypoglossal nerve passes in front like this. So structures closing it. Closed by one now here. This now is the hypoglossal. This one is hypoglossal now, and other structures like cervical branch of facial, facial now, cervical branch. Now, mention about two veins here, lingual and superior thyroid veins. And in the carotid triangle, deep to the external carotid artery, there is wall of pharynx. So wall of pharynx is deep to the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle. Now some nerves lie posterior to that. So the branch of that is superior laryngeal branch of vagus passes posteriorly and it divides into external laryngeal and internal laryngeal. So this one is the superior laryngeal branch of vagus. Branch of vagus which divides into internal and external laryngeal.
So these are the relations of the external carotid artery in the carotid triangle. Now above the carotid triangle, which are the relations. Now we see that above the carotid triangle, it is lying under the cover of parotid. It is lying B to the parotid gland. So it is lying B to the parotid gland. So the structures which is passing superficially inside the parotid gland will form the superficial relation of the external carotid artery here. So which are the structures passing superficially? Which are the structures passing superficially? That is retromandibular vein. and the facial nerve so you know that retromandibular vein and facial nerve passes under the parotid gland so an external carotid is lying deep to these structures so these two structures will form the superficial relation of the external carotid artery above the carotid triangle now what are the uh, structures which are deeply related deep structures so above the carotid triangle it is related the deep structures are first one we can see the internal carotid artery and posterior to that we see the superior laryngeal branch of vagus and two nerves are related deep here deep to the external carotid artery here which are they the two nerves are one is which is passing posterior as the glossopharyngeal that is in Ninth nerve. This is the glossopharyngeal, and the other is the branch of vagus. That branch is the posterior pharyngeal branch of vagus. Posterior pharyngeal. Pharyngeal. Branch of vagus. It is a pharyngeal branch of vagus. So, glossopharyngeal nerve. That's a ninth nerve. And pharyngeal branch of vagus. Pharyngeal branch of vagus. And the internal carotid artery. Now another now is the superior laryngeal now. Now we see other structure here which is related deep to that external carotid. That is that is a process here. That is a styloid process. So styloid process. And two muscle arising in the styloglossus, which are the uh, styloglossus and the stylopharynges. Styloglossus and stylopharynges. So these are the relations of the external carotid artery. Now we will mention about the branches of external carotid artery. Branches here. So arising as a branch of common carotid artery. So this is the external carotid. It uh, terminates into two branches which are mainly what 
the two terminal branches are maxillary and superficial temporal so in the neck it gives out numerous branches which are the anterior branches here now anterior branches are The first branch is the superior thyroid artery. So, this is the superior thyroid artery. Labeled as 1. 1 is superior thyroid. The next branch is lingual. is labeled as 2. 2 is lingual and the third one is facial which is labeled as 3. So 3 is facial. So these are the anterior branches of the external carotid artery. Now we will discuss about the posterior branches. So the two posterior branches are the first one is the occipital artery. Which is labeled as four. So four is occipital. Next one is next posterior branch is Posterior auricular, posterior auricular branch. Now these are the posterior branches. Now the medial branches are so there is only one medial branch. That is the ascending pharyngeal is a medial branch. So fifth one is sorry sixth one ascending pharyngeal. Now, the terminal branches are, we have mentioned it. So, maxillary. So, and superficial temporal artery. So, in total, there are eight branches arising from the external carotid artery. So, that is all about external carotid artery. Thank you for watching this video. To see more videos on my channel, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.